Do you need better internet in your Mac for Teams, Zoom, Meet, web browsing, streaming, or everything else you do online? Most Mac users don't know that if your internet connection on your Mac isn't cutting it, you can actually make your connection stronger by joining more connections like 4G, 5G, Ethernet, Starlink, or your phone's hotspot. In this video, I'll show you how you can combine them together for faster, more reliable, and secure internet. What you'll need, your Mac, multiple internet connections like your Wi-Fi and iPhone's mobile data, and finally, the Speedify app. First, make sure to download and install Speedify on your Mac. This is the magic piece that will make it possible to combine the connections together. You can get it from the Apple App Store or you can download it directly from our website. Do note that in case you want to do more advanced things and use the command line interface, you'll need the direct download from our website. Then, open Speedify and you'll see your current internet connections listed in the dashboard. As you can see, my Speedify is currently connected to my Wi-Fi. This happens to be a Starlink internet dish, but it could be regular cable or hotspot. And I have my iPhone here, which I'm going to use to USB tether to my Mac. For that, of course, you'll need a USB cable and you plug your iPhone into your Mac and enable tethering on the phone. Now, since your Mac is designed to only use one internet connection at a time, when you're USB tethering your phone, the very first time you'll need to go into network settings on the Mac, find the USB tethered iPhone, and uncheck the disable unless needed, so that your Mac will allow Speedify to use both connections at the same time. As soon as you do that, you'll see your iPhone show up as a connection marked for secondary priority, which means it will only be used when the Wi-Fi needs a boost or becomes unavailable. Meanwhile, the Wi-Fi is primary because it's cheaper and unlimited. You can, of course, change the priorities manually at any time. Just click on the row for that adapter and it'll come up and you will see that there's a priority that you can change to tell Speedify how expensive you consider that connection. Each connection is marked with a different colored icon that represents that connection type. One neat touch for the Mac is that Speedify appears in the top menu bar near the clock. If Speedify is connected or if you have the window open, then it also appears in the dock for e easy access. But if you close Speedify and stop it, it'll just wait there in the top menu without appearing in the dock, which I know a lot of Mac users are very passionate about. Now, if your friends, family members, or coworkers are around, you can add even more connections wirelessly. If they install Speedify on their devices and connect to the same Wi-Fi hotspot, you can all pair your phones and share your cellular data with each other with Speedify's pair and share feature. Another cool thing I mentioned earlier is the CLI or command line interface. This is easily accessible if you right click the Speedify icon in the top bar. With the CLI, you'll get access to more advanced customization of your bonding connection, like adding custom bypass options for website and services and even IPs. That's it. Hope that helped. If you want more useful tech tips like this, subscribe to our channel for more videos.